Today, I'm gonna to share my thoughts and feelings over the AC-280BO F-Trigger trombone. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? My name is Aaron, helping musicians get better faster through performances, educational videos, and product reviews. And again, today I'm going over this Anton Courtois 280BO trigger trombone. Now, before we get into it, I do new videos like this just about every single week. So if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you get videos like this one directly to you as soon as they're uploaded. Now, make sure you hang out to the end of this video because I will be doing a small performance or sound test of this instrument just so you can get an idea of how it sounds as well. So let's dive into some of the specifics about the AC-280BO. The Anton Courtois 280BO is the open wrap F trigger from the performance series of instruments from Courtois. It sports a 547 bore, which is a large bore, an 8.5 inch two piece bell, a forged water key, and a removable thumb trigger. So those are some of the specs on the trombone, but let's talk about why I personally got the trombone. So it's not surprising to anybody with the name of my channel. I am actually not a regular trombone player. It's just something I kind of do on the side from time to time. I enjoy it and I get some work doing it. So I needed a trombone. So I knew I was looking for an intermediate instrument, something that was gonna be really good and was gonna be around the $2,000 price mark. And this was just it. I had already tried this instrument at some shows and conferences and some of my students had purchased this instrument and they've done really well on it so I knew that this was going to be the horn I was going to get but I am completely sold on its quality and make after about the two months that I've had on it. It's done everything I needed it to do and it stood up beside people playing on more expensive and you know quote unquote pro horns. This one's you know held its own and it's played really well and you know, it's become, it's been a, it's my go-to option for my students and it's my own personal, you know, horn. It's the one I'm playing on. And that's exactly the market I think it's geared toward and also that I think should be interested in this instrument. Some of the things I noticed just right off the bat um, that were a little different about the Courtois were some of the features that it sported. Open wrap at this price point with this make is kind of hard to find underneath $2,000. Plus it's got the really nice heavy nickel slide, which I really like. Though I will warn you, you do have to be careful with the nickel slide. It's a little harder to get dings out of. So um, if you're a little irresponsible, that might be a problem for you. However, if you're irresponsible, a $2,000 instrument might not be something you want to invest in anyway. Another thing that I really like is if you look really closely at the belt where it crooks, where it goes around, where you have the flare, there's this nice, they looks like they've put in more metal inside of it. So it's actually filled out. It's not just sitting there um, as you know, you can't run your fingernail underneath it. It's curled up. And not only does that look nice, but it has this kind of weight and it helps with the core of the sound of the trombone and i think that's what helps it along with some of the other features it gives it its more professional sound for the lower price tag it's not the cheapest instrument in this price range but definitely the highest quality for the price and i actually don't think that there is a trombone that sounds this good for this amount of money last time i looked this instrument was going for a about $1,900, so $1,900 for this quality of trombone, it's gonna get its money back, it's well worth what you're paying for it. But that price was on Woodwind Brasswind, so your own dealer in your own town, they might be selling it for something different, um, so just make sure you check with them, um, but that's just, Woodwind Brasswind's always a good way to kind of gauge how much an instrument is gonna go for. So of course I'll leave the Woodwind Brasswind link down in the description, but also uh, the Courtois Find a Dealer page, I'll leave that for you so you can find the dealer in your hometown, which is actually who I would suggest you go through. And um, I'll also leave the Courtois Instrument Information page link for you for this instrument as well. So some of the added value with the trombone is also, of course, some of the things it comes with. You've got your more standard stuff. It comes with a nice Courtois cheesecloth to make sure you can wipe it down. It also comes with a uh, six and a half AL large bore mouthpiece, or at least the one I got did. So of course it has to come with a case and it comes in this case, which is a pretty sweet fiberglass, uh, hard plastic case. Um, but it also has these backpack straps so you can carry it on your back like a gig bag. Um, and this hard handle. And I've got a really nice gig bag, but I keep, going back and forth on whether or not I want to use this one or not. This case is actually one of the first things that my parents point out um, because, you know, middle school, high school students, it's going through the rough and tumbles of, you know, school life. And uh, they actually trust sending their kids to, you know, a classroom with a pretty hefty case like this. 
but yeah, that's about all I've got on this instrument. Uh, I like it. I definitely recommend it for, you know, really good middle or high school students or somebody just kind of looking for another horn that's underneath that $2,000 price range. I do want to mention one more thing just to be clear. I am a Besson artist for Euphoniums um, and Anton Courtois are both owned by Buffet Crampon. But I just wanted to do that just to be clear. Um, they are not a sponsor in this video. They did not pay me to say these things about the trombone that I bought with my money. Um, they're not a sponsor. That's why they're not listed as a sponsor for this video. They didn't give me any money for this. So these are my thoughts and feelings. If I didn't like the trombone, I wouldn't be talking about it. Um, if I didn't recommend it to my students, I wouldn't have students who also play this instrument. So anyway, that leads me to the question of the day. What's the most important thing that you look for when buying a new instrument? For me, it's always about sound and also am I paying for something that I'm getting more value than what I'm actually paying for. But for some people, it's a certain feature or maybe it's a certain color or something like that. Whatever it is for you, let me know in the comments down below. But if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you could hit that subscribe button to make sure you get videos like this directly to you. Again, my name's Aaron reminding you to be happy, but never satisfied. I'll see you next time.